What is going on guys? My name is James, or Thanksia, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are taking a look at extreme dungeons, yeah! Now I'm afraid it might not be quite as extreme as you may expect, however it is a pretty cool mod, and what it does is it upgrades the dungeons found in vanilla Minecraft and makes them a bit more useful. So yeah, we're going to take a look at that, but quickly before we do, take a look at this seed, it's really cool, an NPC village and a temple. Uh, who else never ever finds any of these when they're playing vanilla Minecraft? Because I don't, and even when I need them to film, I just cannot find them. But uh, yeah, thought I'd show you that quickly. Anyway, let's head over to a dungeon. Now, the reason why I picked this mod is because I am one of those people who really get excited when I find a dungeon. There's something about it because they're fairly rare, like when you stumble across one you're like, oh my god this is awesome, and you kind of expect to walk in and be greeted with all the riches that Minecraft can offer, sort of dazzling diamonds and gold ingots all over the place, but the reality of that I'm afraid is most of the time you have like three bits of string and two wheat and you're just like, oh god damn it that was useless. But uh, yeah, I think there's a, there's a dungeon around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, this allows an upgrade of the dungeons found sort of spawning in default vanilla Minecraft, and it adds a few cooler items. So you may not notice too much at the beginning, apart from the fact that the floor is obviously made out of diamonds, which is very useful. And oh, there's a creeper. Hello, sir. Where are you going? I don't trust you. But uh, yeah, obviously we have the diamond floor, which is very, very useful. I'm guessing around 20 diamonds in this floor, although that could be a little bit wrong. I haven't counted, but yeah, the diamonds sp spawn on the floor. And as well as that, you also get some upgraded items in the chests found. So you have a few diamonds, for example. Here we have a gas tier. These are some of the more common ones. You also get some rarer items spawning in these chests. For example, full blocks of diamond. Stuff like that. But yeah, as well as... Oh my god! <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Why did I panic then? Just closed the chest and there was a massive creeper face in my face. Get out of my face, bro! But uh, yeah, anyway, you'll also notice the spawner itself. This one is a creeper, but as well as that, you can also get an enderman spawner, and you can get a ghast spawner, and you can also get a blaze spawner. So it also changes some of the mobs that are spawned in it. So very cool. Not too overpowered, I think, and that's the main reason why I picked this mod. It's because you literally only have to add one single file into your minecraft.jar, and it will change the spawning of the dungeons, which I think is a decent upgrade, and it will make them much more worthwhile. So yeah, that is it for the Extreme Dungeons mod. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Incidentally, if you would like to see more mod spotlights and stuff from me, uh, and you haven't already you know, subscribed to my channel, then it would be awesome if you wanted to. Uh, it's the best way to keep updated with all of the latest videos. I also do Let's Plays, mod spotlights, uh, songs, parodies, all that jazz. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks and see ya.